In the first item on the first test of spring 2014, notice that we have an axially loaded member and we're asked to find the normal stress on an oblique plane. I have redrawn the problem statement here because it printed out somewhat lightly. Here's our axial load of 30 kips. We have a cross-sectional area that is 3 by 5 for a total of 15 square inches and the incline plane with respect to the horizontal is 60 degrees. In this transformation equation where we have stress is equal to P over A times cosine squared theta, that theta is measured from the vertical or transverse section. So the value that we want to put in there is going to be 30 de degrees. After that, it's a fairly straightforward uh, calculation that we're going to substitute in for the axial force, 30 kips over 15 square inches times cosine squared of 30 degrees, <coughs> which will ultimately give us a stress of 1.5 KSI. It is important to note that that will be a, a tensile stress, not a compressive stress, and we do want to label that as such.